Population growth has been an important discussion for years. As the population continues to increase, there are many problems that arise with it. Today we will be examining how population growth impacts our world and how it impacts our pollution output. Different countries have different population growth depending on how developed they are. The more undeveloped a country is, the more kids it should have causing its population growth diagram to have a wider base. The more developed a country is, the more equal the ages are overall, which makes its population diagram more of a column. On the left, Haiti's diagram has a wider base, which means there is a higher percentage of younger people causing the population to rapidly increase over time. On the right, United States diagram is more dispersed, which means they have a more stable population not increasing or decreasing significantly. British economist Thomas Malthus once said that with growing population, the world will eventually outgrow the available food source. But with increasing population, the world has intensified agriculture, ultimately increasing the food source. With greater population, we also see more space being taken up as well as more resources and waste. If a country is wealthy, more resources are consumed and more waste is produced. Although wealthy countries consume more resources and may produce more waste, they have better technology and ways of disposing the waste. We can compare this to India, where they have a big population, but lots of rivers and streets are filled with garbage as they do not have the technology that we do. We are able to use the IPAT model to see how our total impact is affected by population, affluence, and technology. Population dynamics show exactly what is causing the population rate to increase or decrease. There are four main subjects to population dynamics, birth rate, death rate, immigration, and immigration. If you take the sum of the birth rate and the immigration rate and subtract by the sum of the death rate and the immigration rate, you get the overall population growth Another rate. Another big part of our population is how family size is influenced. In a big country like China, we can see their population is the biggest in the world. In order to control their population, they had to put laws in place, only allowing one child per family. They'd hoped to slow down the production rate and decrease their population. Another way that family size is influenced is by seeing if kids in a certain country are liabilities or assets. Children in countries like Ethiopia and Mali, where there is not a lot of wealth, tend to be more assets. That means that the children participate in earning an income for their family and work for the family. In countries like the United States and France, kids tend to be liabilities. This means that children utilize the resources that the parents provide and do not provide any or close to themselves. Absence of development has also impacted population as well. Industrialized countries tend to have the highest life expectancy. Other countries who are not developed have lower life expectancies. There are four stages to countries being industrialized. The first one is the pre-industrial stage where there is not much food or health care and death rates are high. In the transitional period, Healthcare and food availability improve, ultimately decreasing the death rate. In the industrial stage, birth control becomes more available and birth rates decrease. In the final stage, the post-industrial stage, the population shrinks. The United States is currently in this stage. Okay. Uh, what are some ideas you have on how to control population growth? Uh, I think proper education, sex education, reproductive education, and contraceptive education would be great ideas, and also easier access to contraceptives. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Very good answers. <laughs> um, so do you think there's anything unethical about controlling population growth? Um, I think it's slightly unethical for the government to mandate um, population but maybe there could be some incentive, but I don't know what that would be. Do you have any ideas on how you would control population growth? Since I feel it's a really personal decision for everybody, um, I think that education is the key. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a teacher. If people see the numbers for themselves, 
and they think about what might be in the best interest for future generations, maybe they'd make decisions that are not only better for their children, but for the entire community. Uh, for example, a lot of the immigration problems that we have across the globe right now, not just with our country. If you look at the countries that people are emigrating from, oftentimes you'll see that the family sizes are like eight children, and that can't be continued sustainably long term. Every country has a limited amount of space and resources. So if people were actually aware of the problem, that might be a first step in a solution. <clears throat> Do you think there's anything unethical about population or controlling population growth? Yeah, um, most people have heard about China's one-child policy and the problems that occurred. Most people don't know why China instituted that. Just prior to, they had a massive famine where a very large proportion of their population was killed. The government decided to step in. Now, the intent was that by having one child, but people not controlling what gender they had, that they'd end up roughly with the same number of boys and girls. And we all know that's not what occurred. So um, it's the basis of a lot of sci-fi movies, such as The Purge and stuff, what might we do? But we do know with the limited resources that a country that does not control their population, either by individual choice or by control by, say, the government, etc., um, that they will eventually run into problems. Again, it's a personal decision. And so far, our country hasn't faced that, and I'm grateful. But we've seen where other countries have done it with the best of intention, sometimes with horrible unintended consequences. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, do you agree that population control is unethical? I don't know if I would use unethical, but you're making a choice. If you're going to have a child, it should be your choice. And then you take all the responsibilities that go along with that. But as far as, you know, mandating laws and whatnot, I don't I don't think countries should do that. All right, thank you. We have conducted a survey that relates back to pollution. The two questions we asked were, do you recycle when given the chance? And if possible, would you switch to an electric car to reduce CO2 emissions? We found that out of a total of 25 responses, 76% said yes to recycling when given the chance, and 24% said no. 52% said yes, that they would switch to an electric car if possible, and 48 said no. Overall, pollution does depend on population, but also how you control the pollution and the efforts people take to decrease their pollution output. Thank you all those that watched as we uh, took a step into human population. We love you.